Hi guys and welcome back. I've got a special treat I want to share with you today because we are into fall and I don't know if it means the same thing for you guys but I know for many of us fall just brings a, a lot of family get-togethers, get-togethers with friends and of course that always means we're having some yummy yummy eats. So today what I want to show you guys one of my favorites is chocolate cream pie and what we're going to do is we're going to use the chocolate ganache that I've shown you guys if you have not if you don't remember that recipe go to the sex by chocolate cake video and in that video I show you how to make the chocolate ganache okay so follow that recipe in that one then for the pie crust Follow the video on the cherry pie, and I'll show you how to make a wonderful flake, flaky pastry crust, and then you're just going to take this and blind bake it. And that's very, very easy. You line it with foil or um, parchment paper, put in your pie weights, bake it off at 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes till it's completely done. Okay, now what we're going to do is taking it from there, I'm going to show you how to take those elements and bring this all together into the wonderful chocolate cream pie. And it's so, so, so easy. By the way, those links are going to be in the description box. Okay, so never fear. Now, we're going to take 16 ounces of very, very cold whipping cream. And that is going to go into a glass bowl I like to use either glass or stainless steel for whipping cream because it just does so, so much better. If you're, if you're making whipped cream and you're finding a little bit of difficulty with it getting nice and high with your fluffy stiff, stiffer peaks, then um, try, check what utensils and bowls you're using. Don't use any plastic and it will come out much better for you little bit of vanilla. Now this is optional, but I want that wonderful vanilla flavor in with the chocolate because it's only going to enhance that chocolate. Then we're doing, and you can tell I'm eyeballing this, right? So you're going to go with however sweet you want it. I'm going to do about a half of a cup. And I know you're like, how in the world does she know that that's a half a cup? Yeah. Been doing it a long time. I know you guys are going, what in the world is she doing with her hand? I'm just trying to reduce the splatters that I'm getting on my apron. All right, now, when you're whipping your cream and you want to check it, always stop before you're absolutely certain that it's done because you may need to fold in those edges and the bottom of your bowl to make sure then when you get nice fluffy peaks like that your whipped cream is ready remember it's always easier to go a little bit longer with the mixer then to bring it back from butter. Of course, I pulled out some of the whipped cream. All right, now, very slowly, we want to fold this in so we're drizzling in the chocolate ganache so that we don't overwhelm our whipping cream or whipped cream. It is whipped at this point in time. And we're just bringing that into the cream. And see, see guys how easily that gets incorporated all together. And yet, it's still beautifully fluffy. Isn't that great? Now, when you don't see any more white or dark streaks, I think 
We've got it all incorporated. And then you are ready to pour into your pie crust. Okay guys, now we've got our filling in. So this is going to go into the refrigerator to set up really good for about an hour. And then we're going to pull it out and we're going to top it the rest of the way. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, guys, our chocolate pie has set up, as you can see. And we're going to top it with our reserved whipped cream. And remember, guys, when you reserve that whipped cream out of there, make sure that you put the whipped cream also back in the refrigerator so that it stays nice and cold for you. We're just going to smooth this around the top. You can do this, you know, you can pipe it on if you want to be fancy. It's just whatever that you want to do with it. I just kind of like to spoon it in. And we're going to let that beautiful chocolate edge show so that everybody can see that it is a chocolate cream pie. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there's something about chocolate cream pie that just screams, yep, that's right, mama loves you. I don't want it to look store-bought, you know what I mean? When you go to the trouble to make something homemade, my goodness, let people know it. Don't let it look like it came out the freezer. All right. Now we're going to take the rest of our chocolate ganache that we reserved. And just decorate the top. And guys, remember, if you want to shortcut this even more, because it's already a pretty quick and easy pie to make, but you can get a pre-baked pie shell from the freezer section. Just make sure that you blind bake that first, because it's got to be baked all the way through, because remember, your fillings are not going to be baked. They're already done before they go in the pie shell. <laughs> One of the things, you guys, that I love about this recipe is that instead of when you have like a cream pie and the pudding is cooked on the stove, you get a lot of substance to it. But with this pie, it is light, it's refreshing, but you still get that deep, luscious chocolate flavor from that chocolate ganache. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, woo, mama does love you. Chocolate cream pie, babies, chocolate cream pie. You guys gotta give this a try. Leave me a comment, let me know how it worked out for you. And guys, you know what I'm gonna say. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And we'll bring you some more treats. And we'll see you next time on Things Tina Does. Thank you.